A 37th annual Taste of Cincinnati Festival. It is this weekend and it is the nation's longest running culinary festival. And the Memorial Weekend tradition kicking off on 5th Street downtown with more than 50 restaurants and half a million people wanting to sample all of those dishes. It helps to have a game plan. Yes, yeah, so WLWT News Fire's Kyla Woods gets the scoop for us on the best treats to try. The taste of Cincinnati is upon us, and whether you're making your first go round or you look forward to it year round, we've got some of the top picks covered for you. We checked in with local blogger and Urban Spoon superstar Heather Johnson, aka the Food Hussy, and while she has many favorites, there are a few that stand out. My favorite thing to get at the taste is the bread pudding from Bella Luna. I just can't pass it up. It is the best bread pudding in all of town. And I looked, and I think it's like a banana bread, but bread pudding this year. Another favorite is Food Truck Alley. While the new mobile magnets are popping up all across the city, having them lined up for your convenience is pretty irresistible. So you can get a beer on your way in, and then every food truck is there. And the best one is Empanadas Aki. I am addicted to empanadas. The taste is the perfect time to be adventurous, too. This applies to food and entertainment, including music and comedy. And you can check out local acts that you may have never seen or heard before. But at the heart of it, this weekend will be the time to try that delightful dish you've been wanting but didn't have easy access to until now. I'll go to some place that's on a different side of town from me, or I'll go someplace I've heard about, but or maybe a pricey place like Alfio's. I don't always go there, but when I'm at the taste, it's $4, so I love to try it. And if you need help navigating your way to those favorite spots, be sure to download the Taste of Cincinnati app. At Fountain Square, I'm Kyla Woods, WLWT News 5. And I want to make it clear again that she made up that nickname. The self proclaimed food hussy also recommends that if you're taking your family or you just want to avoid some of the crowds, the earlier part of the day is the best time to go.